When it comes time to deploy Strapi to a live environment or to a production server, you will most likely want to use an upload provider. An upload provider will manage your uploads folder. So instead of having a local folder, you're going to be uploading your files somewhere else. And the classic example is Amazon AWS S3 provider. So you definitely want to check the documentation for any change, but as of now, version beta 20, which will be the last beta version before release, the way you install a provider is by simply running the npm install for the provider, which is simply a package that you can find on npmjs.org. And there's also a list of providers which you can search for by going on npmjs, which is the way to explore packages, and then using the following keyword, strapi dash provider dash upload and you'll be surprised because there are seven pages of results so there's actually tons of providers but as of this latest version the major change is that the configuration for your provider will not be inside of your settings manager but it will actually be a javascript or rather a json file in the config folder so in uh, on Strapi, if I go in my settings, I can't find I can't find the settings for my media library to change the optimization. But there's no settings for where to put my files. Same goes for the plugins, media library. It used to be upload, but there's no cog here, so I can't change them there. So now that that's clear, let's set up the media library. The first thing I'll do is I'll install the new provider. So I'll go in the terminal, Control C to stop execution, and then I'll npm i and the upload, the provider are called all strapi dash provider dash upload. And then this one specific is called dash AWS dash as free. And there's no need for save. And you can also type I instead of install. It's just a shorthand. And, uh, and once the install is done, I can restart my server by typing npm run develop. And at this point, we have the provider, but we're still not using it. That's because we haven't provided the settings. So in order to set up our settings, I'm gonna open Visual Studio Code to open up my, co my code editor for my Strapi install. And I'll navigate to a folder called Extensions. And in the Extensions folder, I'm gonna right click and create a new folder called Upload so that I can overload, override the upload settings. And I'll type dash config. And lastly, I'm going to have a new file called settings.json. And this file settings.json will have the following keys that you can see here. I would advise we just copying and pasting it. I'm going to write them out just uh, for you. And I'll type provider. And the provider will, de will be the name of the, the, of the provider, which is the last the second, the last two. In this case, it's the last two uh, words in the name. So it's going to be AWS dash s3 and then i'm going to have my provider options which is going to be an object which will have the access key id i'll just call it dev then we're going to have the secret access key which is going to be the secret and then i'm going to have a region in the region i'll show you how to get i'll show you how to get all of these credentials in a second and then we're going to have the params and lastly, I'm going to have a bucket and I'll type the name of the bucket. So at this point, we do have our uh, local provider set up. Our uh, AWS provider is set up. It's simply set up in the wrong way. So if I run develop, I either, uh, I shouldn't get an error. It's, it's simply the upload will actually not work. It will simply break because the settings are not correct. So let me show you how to get the correct settings by going into AWS S3. Once I'm into the AWS Management Console, I can search for S3 and click on it. And this way we're going to be able to set up our bucket settings. Once you're in the Management Console for S3, you can create a bucket by clicking on the orange button, Create Bucket. And you can add a bucket name. In my case, I'll call it Strapi Upload Provider Demo. And then you can select a region and the region when you specify the region the part that you care about is the the code basically au-north-1 sa-east-1 in my case i'll pick california us west one so let me show you how i set it up in strapi i open up visual studio code the provider is already set 
but the bucket is this thing, so I put that here, and then the region is US-West-1. If you are in a different region, for example, let's say you want to use Sydney, you could type AP Southeast-2, AP South East dash two. So any region, the specific region you have, you can or you choose to use, you can uh, apply that there. Once you're done with that, you can set up the um, the public access, and you're gonna have to allow public access. Uh, I'm not giving you any security advice at this point. The only recommendation I can make is that once you're ready for deployment and you're ready for production, you want to hire a AWS certified security consultant to give you advice on the specific settings. All I can tell you is that if you block everything, you're not going to be able to work with file upload. So you're going to have to unblock it, at least, um, at least as far as I know. And uh, again, um, you're going to hire a security consultant for this specific set of decisions. Then you can click on create bucket and that way you're good to go. The next thing we need to retrieve are the credentials. So I can click on my name, the name of my profile, and then click on my security credentials. And that way I'm going to have access to the management console. And from the management console, you're going to select access keys. Now for security reason, I cannot show you this, but you can click here and you're going to have a set of two credentials. The one that is the most viewable and the one you'll see first is the access key ID, which is the one that will be put under access key ID. And the second one will be the private key, which will be put under secret. Let me see if there's a quick image of AWS credentials image. Let me just quickly see if there's an image of it. And once you click on access keys, you should be able to see something like this with the access key ID. And uh, you will be also be able to issue a new key ID by clicking on the blue button. The access key ID is the public key, this one on line four, while the other one that you will only be able to see once or that you will be able to download locally will be your secret key. And once you set those two up, your, you, you can restart your server, which will restart automatically if you're using develop. And now you're actually using your upload provider for file uploads. And the main advantage you're going to note immediately is that compared to your previous upload, which uh, gave you partial URLs, is that these new URLs are actually absolute URLs that point to Amazon S3. So congratulations for setting this up. Let's get ready for a bunch of examples on file upload.